part six. And what does that mean? It means that one through five just weren't enough for you. And you really want to learn how to use this program. You want to become a pro. All right. So I'm going to drag my video file back to new items so I can make a sequence. And my video is now on my timeline again. And we're all working all cool like that. And I'm playing ukulele. And it's being awesome. And I'm strumming really fast because I'm, I'm super humid. Okay, anyways. Wow. What did I eat today? All right. Let's just dive into it. In this video, where I'm actually going to show you how to do a few more hotkeys and show you the buttons over here on the side and that might be enough for this video because uh, it's gonna be pretty packed in so I really hope that you guys are practicing the cutting tools and all the things in control K and and control shift K and things like that because those are really 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 important shortcuts so let's just go over that again really quick okay so control K is going to cut only the layers that are selected. Okay, you'll see that only this video, one layer is selected. Control K cuts that. Control Shift K cuts across the board through all the content. Okay, so here's Control K again. There we go. And then we have the razor tool, which is going to cut wherever you basically click, which can be helpful if you know exactly where you need to cut in rapid succession. Boom, 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 boom. Whatever you need to do. I mean, if you're going for a certain video effect, that might help you out. Who knows? I don't know. So there you go. Those are three really basic hotkeys that you should know if you want to become efficient at this program. I ran through those really quick because we already went over those. Now, here we go. V, the V key, is going to be your select tool. Okay, so let's say you are you press C for a razor cut. How do I start selecting my video and drag it over? Because if I click and drag, now I'm cutting my video. Press V, and you can now select and move your clips again. So V, you'll probably be pressing a lot if you use these buttons. Another important key is a space bar, where you're going to be playing your video. Let me mute this. Where you're going to be playing your video, okay? I mean, play, stop, play, stop, play, stop, things like that. Very, very cool. Another shortcut that I kind of showed you was Alt and scrolling on your mouse that zooms in and here's the thing that you want to understand okay wherever your mouse is it's gonna zoom into that area so look where my mouse is okay I'm holding alt and zooming in it's kinda of zooming into this general area and if I zoom in over here on this side it's zooming into the end of the video so let me go back to the beginning of the video and it's gonna kind of zoom in towards that area sometimes you do have to use this bar at the bottom to go exactly where you need to go but for the general for the main purpose if your arrow is over here on this side it's going to be zooming into that side if your arrow is over here for the most part it's going to zoom in to over there to the beginning of the video all right let's say that you want to you're zoomed in like crazy okay and you have a bunch of cuts let me just go and actually grab a bunch of razor things here and you're zoomed in and you're like oh man how do I zoom out and how do I do my thing and I just want to see all my clips at once well check it out hit the backslash key it's right above your enter key or right below your backspace key on your keyboard boom it just gives you all your content right there you can see it all over again so no matter how zoomed in you are and you're taking forever to zoom out or something press that backslash key and there you go you can see all your content so that's a pretty cool shortcut there if you just want to zoom out and see everything at once now another shortcut is using the plus and minus keys and what this is going to do is zoom in to your timeline but where your play scrubber is so look where the red line is okay it's towards the end of the video if I press plus 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 it's zooming in right to the area where that play scrubber is so that's a really easy way to zoom in exactly where you want to if you have the scrubber in the right position either do that or you can move your mouse back and forth you know leveling out where that scrubber is so I don't know I prefer the scrolling method that's just how I like to edit so and you'll see me constantly scrolling in and out probably some other shortcuts that we went over is when you're in the source in point and out point I and O so that's pretty cool if you want to just quickly do that and you can press the uh, space bar while this window is active if your if your program is activated press space bar guess what's gonna play your program if your source is activated you press space bar your source is gonna play so that's that's pretty important to know and we can do is actually say you're actually playing it and you're like okay right here is where I want to go in and right about here is where I want to go out so you can be playing the video while you're pressing your in and out keys which is a really cool trick there so those are pretty much the shortcut keys that I use if you actually want to use these buttons over here you can use those or if let's say you want to start using nothing but shortcuts you can actually go and put your mouse over each of these buttons and see that the track select tool is A and that the ripple edit tool is B and that the rolling edit tool is N and things like that so if you feel that these buttons will work into your workflow and make you more efficient then totally go for it let's go over this first one is of course 
you're just moving around files or your segments here. Okay, so that's the selection tool. The next tool is the track select tool. And what this does is it'll move all the tracks to the right of the selected track. Okay, so check it out. If I move uh, from here, from the beginning, see, if I select it, if I select this one, all the tracks to the right are selected. If I select the first one, all, the, all of them are selected. I can move that over. I can move that left or right, whatever. But if I select this one, only those will move. So that's what the track selection tool does. I mean, it's very useful if you're moving a bunch of clips in sync like that. All right, next, let's go over the ripple tool, or B as a shortcut. And what this does is it's, it's actually really cool, because check it out. Let me go to select. Let me zoom into these two clips right here, okay? Uh, sometimes what I do is I will go ahead and shorten this one, and then I'll move this one over, okay? See how there's blank space? If I play this, there's blank space. I usually move it over. And that can actually be a hassle sometimes. What you sh what I should be doing is, is using the ripple tool. So actually, I will click and drag. Okay, and let's say I want to cut it right here. But the clip to the side of it moves along with it. So it saves me that time of actually shortening it and then moving over. Here is the rolling edit tool. What this does is it kind of does what the ripple edit tool does, except let's say I move it left or right, it's going to dig into the clip next to it. So if I want to extend this clip, but shorten this clip, that's what it's going to do. I'm going to dig into it. So look at the look, look at where the audio waves are, okay? What I'm going to do is extend this clip, but make it so it ends where this audio wave is, and all this blank space is going to be cut out, okay? Moving it over right there, and there you go. Now there's no more blank audio right there on this clip so you can see it just dug into the video instead of using let's say a ripple edit tool where i'm moving it over the blank space is still there all right so the next tool i want to talk about here is the rate stretch tool and holy snap it's pretty awesome let me use the razor cut tool to really quick this into two clips now this is a really cool tool because if you're into speed art it's going to speed up the duration of your clip or even slow it down so check it out when I'm playing get this the ukulele look how fast I'm moving okay cool and what I can actually do is use this rate tool go to the end and move let's say about halfway let's just say now if I play it now look how fast I'm moving I'm like going crazy now right I can totally just modify how fast my clip plays just by using this rate tool pretty sweet let me go ahead and let me show you how fast I was moving again this is normal speed let me use the rate tool and make it really long now check out my speed if I play it I'm going super slow now my camera isn't high frame rate so I mean I'm all blurred out and stuff but still if you're looking for a slow-mo shot this will be the tool for you Okay, so the next tool is the eraser tool, which we've already gone over, but let me clip, cut this into, two, into three different parts so I can show you what the next tool does. The next tool is actually called the slip tool, and what this basically says is, all right, I have three clips here, and these are the exact size that I want these clips to be, okay? I want this middle clip to be however long it is, but I don't like the part of the video that it's showing. It's a little bit too early, or it's a little bit too soon. All you have to do is select that clip, and look at what the wavelengths look like, okay? If I move it over, the wavelengths move over where I moved. So basically, you're just kind of searching through the clip, and you're changing its in and out points as I scroll left and right. Okay, so watch. Let me go all the way to the beginning. So now look. Now this clip starts at the very beginning of the video, and it just where this beginning clip starts, okay? So that's what it does. And if I go all the way to the end... You'll see now it ends at the very end of the video, just how this one does as well. So that's what it's doing. It's keeping the same size of the clip so you don't have to worry about resizing your clips and moving it over and stuff like that. It just kind of skims through it and says, all right, which part is the best part? And if I hold in kind of, let me just drag left and right. If you look at the program now, you'll see that there are four different videos appearing, right? Four different clips, four different frames. The very top left frame is the frame right before this middle clip that I'm adjusting. It's the frame right at the end of the last segment, really. It's hard. It's kind of interesting. It's weird to say. The clip at the top right is where the next, where this video right here starts. So top left is this video, the ending frame of this, of this clip. The top right is the beginning frame of this. And the two bottom ones are basically the new in and out points. 
So that's what you're looking at right there. So you can sync it up exactly how you need it to be. And that's something actually I'm going to point out very cool about Premiere Pro is that the program, as you're adjusting, making adjustments like this, it does really cool stuff like that. So you can see exactly where your edit's going to be, how it's going to end up without you actually having to put too much effort into it and having to preview it too many times to get it the right way that you want it to look like. The next tool is going to be the slide tool, which basically, let's say I grab this middle one, it's just going to cut the beginning frame and make this one longer if I move it left and do the opposite if I move it right. So that's all that does. This is just cutting and extending clips to the left and right of it. All right, so the next tool is the pen tool, but I'm going to go over that in a future video, maybe the next one. So stay tuned for that because this tool actually gets really cool. And this is where the advanced features, where really the power of Premiere Pro comes out. The next tool is the hand tool or H, and that just moves left and right, makes it really easy. Um, I mean, it really wouldn't make sense to come over here to this button over and over and press it, but that's when you get good at shortcut keys. You toggle between V for select and moving, and then you'd zoom in, and then you'd press H right away so you can move left and right to get a fine-tuned look. Or you can use a scroll bar like normal people at the bottom. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's what I do. I mean, you can use that if you want, or you can use the hand tool if that suits your the same thing but to me it seems like it's the same thing right except I'm just selecting down here the next tool is actually pretty standard it's the zoom tool or Z and you click to zoom in and you hold alt and click to zoom out that's all it is and you can even let's say zoom into a specific part right there or you can uh, let's press alt and click down here it'll zoom out and you can do really cool stuff like that so if you have a specific part that you're going for to edit just use that zoom tool if you need to I think those are enough tools to learned for today. Stay tuned for the next video in the Adobe Premiere Pro series. Thanks for watching, guys.